My name is Bamigo Babalala Oluwashim and I'm the CEO of Why Not Today. We are into production of leather made products like shoes, shirts, casuals, belts, etc. We started Why Not in 2010, officially in December, and that is where we are currently in a year old in the business now. We currently have at least six stores owned by Why Not and we have close to 75 partnership stores which we call this, the athletes which we have in over close to six states in the country at the moment and we are planning to open more like over 100 before the end of the year so that's it. before Why Not I've been I've been into several businesses I started business at the early stage but I first I, I first go into business called Tampico Business we are selling Tampico in Lagos. So from there, I, made, I moved to network marketing business, which I learned so much about branding and marketing from them. Though my dream, my dream from day one is not to uh, not to write a CV. I don't want to write a CV. So when I lost money in the forest market, so I have an option: is that to start all over again or to write a CV? So I chose my option, which is not to write a CV. So during that time, my 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 wife. Sorry, my girlfriend then bought me a slippers. So that slippers, my friends started liking the slippers. So some of them were getting the slippers from the person that was doing it. So I was like, ah, instead of me giving it to these people or letting them know each other, why can't I talk to this shoemaker? So he can sell it for me. Why me I sell it? I retail it back to them. So that is how I met with the shoemaker doing the shoes. Let me collect these shoes and start producing and start selling to my friends from you. So he said there's no problem. But I noticed that the foreign name on that shoe. I told him, why are you producing a foreign? Why are you putting a foreign name on a produce product that was locally made? So he told me that people don't accept his brand name. That so he would prefer to to put a foreign name there so that people can accept it. And I told him, I told him I cannot work like that. I have integrity. So why not our home made? This is our home made. Why not Nigeria made? Why can't we do it? In, why can't we put your own name there? In fact, we are using that name, Why Not? That is where we get the name Why Not from. So it was formerly W-H-Y-N-O-T. But after the Legend, we changed it from W-Y-N-O-T to Y-N-O-T-H, which is what we are using currently now. Yeah, when I was in Lagos there, when I lost several money in Lagos market there, Lagos is not a place where you... I know that Lagos is not a place where you build where you can start up that easily. It's not an easy way to start up. It's more easier here to start business in the market because you can easily go from one location to the other with a little amount of money. And luckily for us in Ibadan, the stress is more minimal and the risk is also more minimal to start up in Ibadan. That is why we started in Ibadan and we have our headquarters here in Ibadan. But we don't think we plan moving our headquarters away from Ibadan, even though we have business in Lagos now. In, in business, the first thing you have to look at in business is first family and friends. So when you have more of a family and friend in, in this location, I think they, they helped me a lot to achieve very fast and my friend also. It, has, it wasn't as smooth though, but it has been a great thing starting all the way, starting about now. It's, it's more easier, like, like I said, and, and we, we're still on it. All the why not, we, we, plan, we plan three years ahead four years I five years ahead. So we're going to be celebrating our 10th year anniversary this year. So we plan opening five more stores across Southwest and maybe put one in the north, which we are working on. We are thinking of Abuja. We currently have two in Ibadan at the moment. And we want to have like three more. So we're going to be having five in Ibadan and five outside Ibadan which will give us a total of 10. And we are pushing on having our athletes be 100 or more than 100 before the end of the year. We, for the past two or three weeks now, we have been recruiting people so that we can create a structure that can oversee this expansion we are doing. Because it's, let me say, it's easier to expand than to build a structure in business.